Hey folks, Doug here. I've been getting a few questions about how we manage to discover uh, PC computers and what class they currently live in and what class they would like to live in, such as personal computer. But it takes a little bit of background I gotta go through to show you all the components that need to be changed to be able to achieve this goal if that's what you need out of your discovery. So first things we're going to look at is our Windows classifiers and understanding that here our Windows classifier down here drops everything into CMDB CI computer. Now obviously you can choose which table they go into but it's not as easy as it once was just to choose personal computer here and then discover and have it populated within that class. It takes a moment to understand why. So we're going to go back to Windows and this is where I have some probes and sensors set up. And in these, we can look at the, the old probes that we used to run when we would discover a particular system. And what the thing was, was when we determined class, it was determined in the classifier. So once I got my Shazam port probe back, and then I went into classification, I learned what operating system it is, and then ultimately what table it is. And then when I go into identification, our third phase, I identify either it's going to be a new CI or it's an existing CI. And then when I go into exploration, which we're doing here, everything was populated with that sysid of the system we were discovering. Now with probes, it was quite easy because all we had to do was manipulate a sensor. And in this case, we didn't have to, but I want to show you why. Here, it's because of the magic value of current. When we would do, use probes and sensors for discovery, we already knew the sysid way back in identification. So any exploration probes, all it had to do was call current.os version. Simple as changing the classifier table and everything else just falls into place because it was determined in a different location. However, when it came to patterns, it gets a little trickier. Because if we look at a discovery pattern, such as our CI computer, and we pull up our desktop pattern, we see inside the pattern we're actually call, calling specific table names of where to put the information that's gathered in the pattern. So as we look at this come up, and we look at the same information, whether it be for OS information, as we see here, where we insert system OS and CPU data. We see that it's saying, hey, I am putting it into CMDB CI computer into dot version, dot CDS version, manufacturer model, what have you. So the pattern even though the classifier has said this is going to be in the computer class, the pattern goes through and says, no, no, I'm not calling current anymore. I am saying this is going in CMDBCI computer dot version. So there's got to be some changes we got to make if you want to be able to use those, um, the patterns to be able to put it in PC hardware. So first order of business we want to do, what I like to do is I want to make sure that table is right for me. I'm going to go to tables and columns. I'm double checking a few things here. And we're going to do personal. And there's our PC hardware. And I like looking at the map just so I can be sure that it does fall under my hierarchy of items that are extended from computer. So that gives me the assurance that all the reference or or related tables, network interface cards, memory modules, where they're all tied up here at either computer or hardware, are going to be inherited at, at PC hardware. So that's great. They put it in the right spot for us. So we're done with that. So the first things I want to do is I want to come down here, and you, th these steps can go in and out of order, but ultimately the end result has to be the same. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new Windows classifier. And we're going to call this Windows, get rid of you, Windows Personal Computer. And here we're going to put it in our personal computer class. I'll save that. 
in my classification criteria, I'm going to mirror off my other Windows computer one. But in our test, um, I got a VM set up and it looks a little different than a normal uh, Windows PC. So my differences are going to be uh, a little bit negligible, but you'd want to check yours. And here I'm going to do name contains. Now you're probably wondering, hey, Doug, how do you know that? Because I had run a previous discovery on it. And come on. Sorry about the pause, but as you all know, I do my videos live. All right. So here, I look at my ECCQ. I want my classify to come back. And here's my name. So name contains, I'm going to do Windows 10 just for this example. Because again, this is a VM. I think it throws the Microsoft bit in front of it. But I am going to do it so it works perfectly, of course, on every video you do. That's how you make yourself look good. <laughs> All right. So back to Windows. And I've got my Windows personal computer and my new classification criteria. Name contains Windows 10. Beautiful. All right, and I'm going to set this order. We're going to change the order so it's back down at the bottom. So we'll call this one 399. And now I'm going to disable my other Windows classifier because I don't want you to fire. All right, so as we all know, I got my classifier in now. Now I need a pattern to trigger. And we have our Windows OS desktop pattern, but goodness, can you imagine having to go through each of these steps to find CMDB CI computer? Uh, very, very troublesome to do. But being that we have access to the NDL, I can pull that and manipulate it on my own. But first things first, I'm going to create a new discovery pattern that uses the PC hardware. And we're going to do this infrastructure. And then personal computer PC hardware name Windows personal computer. Hmm, seems like somebody's done this before. And then we have to add a new identification section. And we'll keep it in line with everything else in discovery and we'll save it. Don't want anything done to it from here because we're going to do some data manipulation. Because if we look at the pattern, there's nothing there. It says, hey, I'm just this. This is my important ID. I'm going personal computer, and I don't have any steps in there. That's fine. We're happy with that. But I'm going to come back here, and I'm going to go see a computer. And I'm going to grab this one. This is the out-of-box computer pattern. And I'm going to grab that pattern, and we see it has all the steps in the world it wants to do. So I'm going to control A and I'm going to grab all of this. And what I'm going to do is I've got the little code thing here, but you can use any of your text editing tools that you like best. And I'm going to load up the entire pattern and we see all the different places where CMDB CI computer is. And what I want to do is replace in files. I want to replace CMDB CI computer with CMDB CI PC hardware and replace all replace so now everywhere computer was called now I've told it go to PC hardware now there's one other thing that I need and this is this metadata information up here because this is the out-of-box data obviously and it doesn't match up so what I want to do is I want to come to my new pattern, which was personal computer, and I want to grab that metadata. I'll grab these two because this is going to make that other pattern piece my own. So I'm going to go there and you go there. So now I have the pattern ID, CBE2. CBE2 and it's calling Windows com personal computer and I just grab all of that control C come here control A control V and now all of that information has been updated 
So we're going to save that. And now we have, if we look into our pattern designer, we see I have everything that came from with that's out of box in the in the uh, computer class OS classifier, and I can manipulate this as I need, but I don't need to any longer because if we look at this, we see now it's going into PC hardware dot version. Excellent. Now a couple things I'm going to do here. I'm going to disable some of these libraries because a personal computer is not going to have storage. So I'm going to disable that. And personal computer is not going to be in the cloud. So I'll disable that one too. Those aren't going to be critical pieces to be returned. So I'm just going to stick with just having a personal computer. Now I'm going to publish this. So that's great. We've got our pattern. Now there's a couple other areas we've got to work in. Our pattern's been saved. Everything's going to work, we hope, as design. But one thing to always remember, and if you've been doing patterns and discovery for as long as you have, uh, you know there's other places that the pattern needs support in. And that's in our pre and post processing scripts. Now, pre and post processing scripts. Obviously, there's a lot of great information. I'll probably link in a community article I'll do about this, about what they do, how they perform, and such. But we want what we want to do is find all the pre and post processing scripts that the computer, the out of box pattern, was being called on, and apply our new workstation. So if we look at here, now I've updated a few of these, so I found them, but I had to go like this to find desktop and there they all were I can find those pieces okay these are all five that OS desktops were a part of so I'm gonna open these up one by one and what I want to do is I want to add my windows personal computer so that gets used here update you Windows personal computer update you update Is this overlap no I got them all. Let me just double check them just to be safe. Now, there's got to be a way you can search through those, but I have not found it or really cared that much to find it. Personal computer, personal computer, boom. All right. So now we have all of our pre and post process processing scripts that the Windows desktop OS would use now it also uses my Windows personal computer. Excellent. So now we needed those pieces. So next thing I want to do is I want to go into Discovery and I want to go back to my Windows classifier and our Windows personal computer. Now I want to trigger a probe. I want to call my new pattern. So first we need a probe which is horizontal pattern. No matter what, probes are always going to stick around. And then I'm going to choose my pattern. And one thing to take note, remember, our phase defaults to exploration. So we want to change that because all of our patterns run in the identification section. Now there's other probes that we do also want to add um, because they still exist. They exist in computer. They still exist in uh, um, the server classes as well. So I want Windows 
I want installed software. I want application dependency mapping and application dependency mapping enhanced. Those are not pattern based. Don't know if they'll ever be pattern based, but right now they're still all probes. So we want those to trigger as well with just our Windows personal computer pattern in our identification section, um, identification phase, excuse me, and then trigger explorations from there. And we have our name contains Windows 10. Now, let's do a quick test drive on this. See if I remember if I did all the steps right. So I'm gonna do a quick discovery against my IP. Now we remember from the last status, we did create or updated this device, this desktop device in the computer class. So take note of that. So now we see that it was able to run and it classified it as a personal computer. And now we're just waiting for the pattern to complete. that pattern completed and triggered our other application dependency mapping items. And if we look at our devices, again, we see that we've got our CI, it's a personal computer, and it's the same one that we recognize. So one important thing to know about this is if we look at the history, oh, that's not audited, that somebody should look at that. Um, it did do a class change for us. And if we look for upgrade, no, it's um, glide.class. So these are the properties you want to make sure that you have. And you could look up on the docs page what these actually do. But basically, downgrade is going up a class. Upgrade is going down. So such as our computer extended PC hardware, with upgrade enabled, it thinks it's an upgrade from going to computer to PC hardware. If there was downgrade, it would go from PC hardware to computer. And that's the same for all. And then when they don't share a same parent, you can have this enabled, such as some weird reason why a magical computer turned into a switch. Boom, we can let it switch over. But I think these are out of box so you may consider um, these if you've changed them already and for example if you have a bunch of computers computer class that you say okay now I want to use this desktop um, PC hardware now let's move those down as they get rediscovered over time so that's where your class upgrade being true is going to help you so you don't have to manually go in and say hey you're all in a new class or potentially get any duplicates that you don't want to deal with. One last thing to think about. Remember your patterns. You own this pattern now. Windows Personal Computer, even though you took the, the, the guts of it out of the C, CI computer, the, 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 the original one, it's not going to be updated. It's only going to be updated by you. You own this now. So any new changes, keep an eye out for pattern updates to your uh, OS desktops patterns and apply those accordingly that you want to do if you do choose to create your own um, um, pattern and move those into this class. Well, quick video, but I hope it helps and I'll have a little bit more of a write-up in the community article. But think about different ways you may be able to apply this yourself even in just creating your own pattern with just taking all the out-of-box steps and just making those couple of changes up top so you can use everything that's been developed and then apply it to your own unique pattern. Thank you.